to look at how to write things in set notation and what it means. What we have here is an example of set notation. And I'm going to type in what this actually means, how we would read it. The set of all real x such that x lies between negative 3 and 2, including 2. So let's talk about where all that information comes from. Such that is this vertical line right after the x. And set of all x, we know it's a set because of the squiggly brackets in the x. And we know x is real because of at the end. It says x is an element of the real numbers. And you should remember that from the previous lesson. And then we have this inequality. x is between negative 3 and 2, including the 2 because of the or equal to. We can show this on our number line. If that's my 0, 2 would be out here, negative 3 down there. We use an open circle at 3 because we're not including 3. We use a closed circle on 2 because we are including 2. And then we're going to shade in between these. That shaded region represents all of the values of x that satisfy this notation. So here's two examples that I want to put into that set notation. So take a minute and see if you can come up with a set notation for this. Pause the video and give it a try. Try one, restart the video, then try the next. So the first one, set of x's such that now look at the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, only 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's a few ways to do this. The way that I would do this is I would say x is between 1 and 5, inclusive on both ends, including the 1, including the 5, but stipulate that x has to be an element of, we could say, integers or we could say whole numbers. Anything that specifies that we're only dealing with the integer values. So x is an element of the natural numbers, or I could have used integers there too. So give the second one a try. Here we go. The set of all x's such that x is between negative 3 and 6, and we need to include negative 3, and we need to stipulate that x is an element of the real numbers because it's everything in between negative 3 and 6. And remember, up here in the first one, we could have used the integers, or for that matter, we could have used positive integers. It doesn't matter. Any one of those three work because we're stipulating between 1 and 5. So that is your overview of set notation. You should be able to go from a graph to set notation to what it means, like we did in this example, the words that go along with it. You should be able to find any one of those three things.